Now Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of a quack who's gone to the dogs. Hubba hubba. <laughs> so, where's the next patient? Oh, right here, Dr. Bob. Oh, oh, look at that. Hey, he looks cold. We better turn up the heat. Dr. Bob, those are not earmuffs he's wearing. He was in the recording studio. Don't you know about headsets? Of course. The headset's on the neck, the neck sets on the shoulders. <laughs> I learned that the first year in doctor class. Dr. Bob, have you forgotten about the patient? No, the patient is the one who's sick. I learned that the second year. <laughs> no, Dr. Bob, this patient, he's lost his hearing. Well, maybe he dropped it someplace. I'll look under the table. What kind was it, a clip-on or one of those pierce jars? Not his earring, his hearing, Dr. Bob. This man can't hear anything. Mm, he's lucky, I've heard every dumb word. Well, let's get these off. There we go. Can you hear me? Of course I can hear you. You, him. How can I hear him? He hadn't said a word. <laughs> If Florence Nightingale had to put up with this, she'd have been a waitress. Well, I can't do anything about his hearing now. Call me tomorrow. No, Dr. Bob. You're responsible for his ears. Mm. You're right. Call me irresponsible. <laughs> Call me. So we come to the end of another veterinarian's hospital. Tune in next week when you'll hear Dr. Bob say... Ah. No wonder he can't hear anything. He has a tiny little drum in there. It'll have to come out. No, 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 no. That's his eardrum. That stays. What about the tiny little piano and bass? <laughs> <laughs>